What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export Revit to various uh, file types. Okay, so for you to be able to export this, let's say for example to DWG file or AutoCAD file. So you can go to the file and then look for export. So you actually have several options wherein you can export your Revit file. Okay, so you can export that to uh, DWG, DXF, DGN, OBJ, SAT file, STL. And then you can also export that to PDF, IFC, DWF, or DWFX file, FBX, family types, GBXML, what else? Um, ODBC database. You can also export that as an image walkthrough, solar, study, image, report, and you have an option here before you export it. So you will notice that some of the export options here are unavailable. The reason is that you need to be in a specific view for these options to be active. Let's say, for example, the FBX. So for this one to be active, so you need to change your current view to 3D view. Same with GBMX, uh, GVXML. Okay, so like for example, I'm going to open the 3D view here. So this is the 3D view. So if I go back to the file and then look for export, so you will notice here that my FBX now is available. Same with GBXML. Okay, if we are going to look for reports here, you will see that schedule here is disabled. That's because we don't have a scheduled view here right now. But let's see if I have a schedule here. So I have a schedule here. Let's say this one, Doc System Schedule. I'm going to open that, double click. So if I go back again to the file and then look for the export and then look for the reports option, this one. So you will see that the schedule is now enabled because currently we are on a schedule view. Okay, so that's the reason why some of the options in exporting is enable or disable okay so it needs to be in a specific view for these options to be active all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look for the options here all right so we have options here if you want to export your dwg dxf also dgn and also ifc but for this one, since I'm going to export my floor plan to DWG file, so let us explore the options in exporting my DWG file. So let's go to the options and then click export setups DWG DXF. Okay, so on our modified DWG DXF export setup, so currently we are by default on layers tab. So the layer and the color ID can be specified for each Revit category, okay? So you can specify from here. So these are the options for your layers. And then as you can see, you also have here export layer options. Okay, so to control how the graphic overrides are exported. And you can also load here layers from standards. So if you are in the United States, so you can use this option. You can also use this ISO standard 13567 and you can also use CP83 from Singapore and then you can also use British standard settings or you can load settings from your file, All right? So aside from the layers, you can also specify here the type of lines you will be exporting, the patterns and text and fonts, the colors, solids by the way if you want to export your 3d model into a solid model so make sure you change this to acis solids okay because otherwise your 3d model will just becomes poly mesh once exported to autocad drawing or autocad file okay so aside from that you can also control here the units and coordinates so for the units, so you have foot, inch, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. And then you can also control here the coordinate base. So it's either shared coordinates or internal coordinates. And then lastly, you also have the 
general tab here so there are various options such as um, hiding the the elements like the scope boxes reference planes so the file format can also be selected on this tab so as you can see the file format here by default the Revit will be exported to AutoCAD 2018 format, but you can also click the drop down arrow to select the format where you want to export your Revit file. Okay, so that's it for this um, option. So let's say I'll just accept all of these options. I'll just select here, okay. And then let me go back again to my file, export, and let's say I'm going to export that to DWG, only this view. Okay, so DWG, click that. And then if you only want to export your current view, so make sure here on the export option, you only select current view or current sheet only. Okay, if you want to see the other sheets, let's say you only want to export the sheets. So you can click the drop down arrow here and then you can look for, let's say, electrical sheets. You can click that. So there's no electrical sheets currently. So let's say I'm going to select your in-session view sheet set so i'm gonna select that one and then from the drop down arrow i'm gonna select here sheets in the model so i only want to see here the sheets available in this project so i'm gonna click this drop down this option okay so there's no sheet again so how about just view so views in the model so click that so you can see now here all the views available in your drawing okay or let's say like what I have said, I only want the current view. So I'll just select this one, current view or current sheet only. So select that. So it's already checked. And then after that, you just need to select next. All right. And then you just need to specify here the name. So there's the file type and there's the naming. So you can select their short or manual. So usually I just use uh, automatic long spec specify prefix. For this one, I'll just uncheck this. Okay, so I do not want to export the sheets and links as external reference. I don't want that. So I'll just uncheck that. And then after that, okay. So that's it. Okay, so that's how you export your Revit floor plan view or 3D view or schedule to other uh, file formats. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.